I asked AI to randomly select 30 countries from around the world and show me what a Dead by Daylight killer would look like from each of them. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to them and ranking them out of 10 based on how well I think they would fit into DVD. Let me know what your favorite one is down in the comments below. All right, this is Afghanistan and this looks awesome. What? This kind of feels similar to Legion, how it's more of a humanoid character with a mask. But like this character right here just reminds me of kind of a, a Grim Reaper type of character. You know what I mean? We haven't really had like a Grim Reaper type of character in DBD, so I feel like that would be so fire. Something that just kind of represents death, you know? Like, maybe it's something from the entity itself. I really like the cloth hood and the mask that we have going on, and like, especially these two images. I personally don't mind the very realistic, like, just human psychopath killers that we have in DBD, and these two pictures would definitely fit. I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. It's a little too simple for my liking, but I really, really enjoy this kind of Grim Reaper vibe, and I love how the outfit looks here. Moving on to Algeria. This is really cool. We can kind of only see the killer right here on this top left one. I mean, the bottom right, that looks like a sick map. I'm not gonna lie. This is another one of those very humanoid killers, but we haven't seen a white and orange kind of color scheme yet, have we? It's actually a really interesting color scheme, but I can see this being a DBD killer. Like, like it has that typical white soulless mask, but kind of intimidating, similar to Michael Myers. And I can see this being either like a really aggressive killer or a really stealth-based killer. I thoroughly enjoy this outfit and I think it would fit perfectly into Debedele. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. I think it's so cool. Moving on to America. <laughs> not a huge fan. I no. I don't, I don't I'm not a huge fan. Like it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like this kind of slenderman-ish face with like I don't want I almost said gills, but it's not a fish. <laughs> you know what I mean though? Like the little holes. Like it's it's a cool design. Don't get me wrong. I don't think we need a killer with an American flag on it. That is a uh, that's a little much. But I do enjoy the look of all these masks. I don't know why I gave them a bunch of like masks. This could be a cool death slinger skin for like the 4th of July, but like behavior is not American, so they probably would never do that. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of these. I, I think they're cool. Like, I think they're cool images. I like this bottom left one especially, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we could get some stuff like this for every single killer, like some representation from where they're from. So they have like face paint of their country of origin. That would be pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Or maybe even the survivors. You should do that. That's like a free cosmetic. Just give every survivor face paint of their country of origin. I don't know if that really fits the vibe of DVD, but it's fine. I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10. Like it's, it's cool. This bottom left one's cool, but overall, I don't think it would, I don't think it would fit in DVD. Moving on to Argentina. Tina. We don't really have a lot to work with because these are just dudes, right? But this bottom left one, it kind of looks like a lion, does it not? I feel like it kind of looks like a lion. It's a cool character. Don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't scream scary to me. I don't know. I was going to say like, unless it, if it wasn't human, if he was like an alien that kind of had this vibe going on, I think it would be cool. I'm not a huge fan of the colors. I don't think it really fits the tone that Dead by Daylight is going for, but I could definitely see this being like a, a cool mask for like the trapper or something. I'm going to give this one a four out of 10. I don't think, I don't think it really fits DVD. Moving on to Australia. Whoa. Okay. This is terrifying. What? This is actually so scary. This would be a cool death slinger skin. Mm. I could see it being a separate killer, but it's a little, no, I could, I could see it. I could see it. It'd be kind of the first like zombified killer. You know what I mean? Obviously we have like nemesis and his zombies, but I could see this being like a, a zombified kind of detective in a way. Like it kind of looks like a detective outfit. Interesting. I, I actually, I actually really like that. I like that a lot. And this top left one, holy, that is so creepy. That could totally work. Like that is, that is so scary. I don't know what's going on with the face, but it works so well. This is hands down one of the best ones that we've seen so far. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a solid 9.5 out of 10 because the two that we see here are just so perfect. Moving on to Brazil. Okay. I could kind of see it. The top right one would probably be the best one for Dead by Daylight. I think the colors are a bit much. I don't think we, I don't necessarily think the colors of our flags and stuff really match the theme. Obviously we have bright colors with like trickster and clown, but the flags itself doesn't necessarily work. Yeah. I could, I could see this being like a, a vampire s killer with like that, that kind of teeth. One thing I just noticed is they have the DVD logo on this guy's forehead. That is insane. Other than that, like these are all pretty mid in my opinion. I think this guy looks sick. I could see that being some sort of like trapper skin. Maybe I don't know about a separate debit killer. Like to me, I don't, 
find any of this really intimidating, except for the top left. That is pretty intimidating. These are pretty cool. Like at first glance, they're not great in my opinion, but I think I think you could take a lot of design inspiration from these guys. I'm gonna give this a solid six out of ten. I think it's good. I think the colors are a bit much for a for a dead by daylight killer, but I think the I think design wise, even though they're just kind of humans, I think it works well. Moving on to Canada. Ooh, these are cool. I like this a lot. It's kind of uh, it kind of looks like a bee, but it looks scary. It looks like something that would move around the map very quickly and have a lot of mobility and have some insane sound design. So I really like that. This top right one is also very creepy and I could totally see that happening. Yeah, I, I actually really, I like all of these except for the bottom right. I don't, <laughs> this this looks like the thumb people. I like this top left one. It's, it would probably work better as a night skin, but these, these, this bottom left one and top right one would work really well as DBD killers. I like those a lot. This one looks a little too superhero-y in my opinion. It kind of looks like Ant-Man. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know necessarily if it fits aesthetically. I think if they took kind of this cyborg themed design and made it more sinister, it could work. But yeah, I, I'd give this one a, I'd give this one an eight out of 10. It's pretty, it's pretty freaking cool. Moving on. This just looks like Michael Myers. I can kind of see what they were going for with this, where it's just like a dude. I'm like fairly confident that when I typed this in, I didn't specify that it was the country. <laughs> so I think this is just supposed to be like the Chad meme, but as a DVD killer, which is kind of funny, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty cool. I'm gonna give this one a three out of ten, but I think that's my fault. China. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These are pretty fire. I like the kind of skull vibe that's going on. We have a very similar style with Oni, but he's Japanese. I definitely think like a Chinese style killer would be super sick. Like, especially with this clothing. That is very cool. I really love the black, white, and red color palette. So I think this would look awesome as a DVD killer. You can have just like this really cool black cloak with like a skull head with like blood all over it, right? And then it'd fit perfectly. Easy, super simple, easy. I really like the style. I don't necessarily like the designs of these, except for the clothing on this one. But other than that, you can't really see much. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a seven out of 10 on this one. I like the colors. I like the idea, but we don't get to see enough of the actual like body itself, right? Moving on to Costa Rica. Ooh, okay. I like this bottom right one a lot. Like these don't really look like DVD killers. They're, they just look like guys. I mean, this one's, this is a really creepy mask. So apart from like the hat and the outfit, I think the mask is cool. Um, the body bottom right is terrifying. I wonder if there could ever be a killer that's like burning, like a killer made of ash. Just saying you did the artist with the ink blots. So I'm, I'm just saying you could do ash. That'd be pretty cool. Like imagine kind of the dredge, right? But burning instead of like smoky, that'd be pretty scary. I must say, I, I like that one. I like that one. I'll, I'll give this, I'll give this a seven out of 10. I think it's pretty damn cool, but I don't know if DBD would ever add a killer that's like on fire, but who knows? You could probably come up with some creative ideas for like a fire based power. You know what I mean? All right, Egypt. Bro, these are so fire. Why don't we have an Egyptian killer? Do we have it? We don't have an, well, no, she's Babylonian. We need an Egyptian killer. These are so cool. Okay, hear me out. We need more killers that are similar to kind of the theming of the plague. I think plague is one of the best design killers in the game from like a aesthetic standpoint and having something like this, it'd be so sick. Like that gold and blue color palette, the gold mask, the just everything about it is so unbelievably fire. Come on behavior, please add something like this. You can make some really really phenomenal Egyptian like abilities and be able to use that. That would be so sick. I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. I love this one a lot. All right, moving on to Ethiopia. Ooh, this is sick. I really like these. These are kind of just very human, but this bottom left one as a DVD killer, it's very night E, so it could just be a skin for the night, but like this design is sick. It's so cool. I definitely like this more medieval style that, that's kind of going on here. I think these would be like really cool survivors though. These look so awesome awesome. But as a, as a dead by daylight killer specifically, since that's what this video is, this, I could, I could see that coming to the game. I, I think it'd be a night skin though. I don't think you could really do this as a separate killer. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. I like these, but they don't really scream DBD killer to me. This one does, but it's not like a separate DBD killer. You know what I mean? So that's why it's kind of lower. Moving on to France. It's okay. I liked the masks. The masks are cool. But like, besides that, I'm not a huge fan. I I, I like the, this one's, this one's creepy. I like this one a lot because it's creepy. But like the bottom right, this one right here, it, it's it's pretty cool. It's a little sci-fi-y. I don't necessarily know if I like it though. I don't think it really fits DBD all too well. This is definitely my favorite mask out of the three that we see here. It's very scary. And I'm kind of scared looking at it. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really vibe with it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give this one a five 
five out of ten. All right, Germany. Oh my god, that is terrifying. What in the world? Uh, okay. I like these. I don't like that. I don't like that upper left one. I don't. I don't want to look at that anymore. This top right one, however, is fire. I love this like humanoid while not really feeling human look. It is again a bit too similar to the knight, but I'm sure you could change it up a bit. I just really like this lack of personality. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a lack of human being. You know what I mean? It's just like death straight up. The bottom right one is also very cool. He kind of looks like a chipmunk. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I could see this being in the game. I'm not a huge fan of that design though, but just based on this one and the creepy zombie girl, I'm going to give this one... 7 out of 10. I think it's pretty solid. I just, okay, can we move on? I don't want to look at her anymore. Iceland. Uh, we didn't really get much to work with here, but this bottom right one is cool. It looks very familiar for some reason. It kind of looks like something that would be like a Call of Duty operator. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's pretty sick. It's, it's very intimidating. I'll give you that. And it has a cool mask design. That's for sure. But other than that, like we can't really see much. So it's, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but there's not, there's not a lot to work with. So I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10 just because there's not really much to work with, but I really really, really like the design of this mask. Okay, India. Uh, it's all just kind of human. She looks really cool. I definitely think we should see some sort of Indian killer in DBD. I think this is like a very cool kind of aesthetic that we have going on. Like it, it almost looks like rusted metal. You know what I mean? This, this kind of blue and brown look here with like a mask. I think this would be cool. I really like this a lot. Everything else looks relatively like a little too human for me. I mean, this one, this one's pretty human too, but it looks like a psychopath. It looks like it could be a DBD killer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I really like that one. This one's pretty cool too. I like that mask a lot as well. I think it'd be sick to have like an Indian themed map as well with this kind of architecture. That'd be really, really awesome. There's so many regions that behavior can explore and it, it, it makes me really excited to see the future of this game. I'm going to give this one a six out of 10. I think there's not enough to work with as a DBD killer, but I do, I do get a lot of ideas from it and I do really like the aesthetics. Moving on to Ireland. Not my favorite. There's not a lot that you can see. I do like this very luscious, mossy, and grassy look. I've got to say, I, I think the bottom right one is the coolest. I think we need more kind of swamp and like vegetation-based killers. I don't know how to describe it, but like there's that one trapper skin, which is really cool. And then there's the hag. And that's about it. Obviously, I'm forgetting some stuff, but I think we need more kind of gross, like swampy, muddy, grassy killers. Like maybe they can have a power that's involved with like the nature of the map around around them. I'm not very creative when it comes to DBD killers, but that'd be cool. I'm just saying. I definitely think this, this kind of style would have been better for the map that came with the knight, the Borgo. I don't even know what it's called. I've played on it like twice, but I think this, this kind of color palette with the grays and the greens would have been a much better color palette than the, the really gross, like red and orange that they went for. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10 too, because there's like nothing we can really use here, but I do like the color palette. And I think we do need something that like, they just reworked the red forest maps, which look phenomenal. And I think they need more maps with that much greenery. Italy. Um, <laughs> what is this? This looks so weird. I like this. I like this a lot. It has, it, it has kind of night related aspects, but I really like the mass. The mass is cool. And the shield. I wonder if you could do something with the shield. I just don't know what. Okay. Obviously all of this, like these, these three are kind of just meh. Like there's nothing you can really do with it. But the bottom left one is pretty damn cool. If I do say so myself, it's kind of interesting to see this, this color of green mixed with the, the blood red. I actually like this. I could see this being a DVD killer. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna give this one actually an eight out of 10. My brain gets a lot of cool ideas from this, this color scheme, this shield, this mask. I can see it being a good fit in DVD. Moving on to Japan. Huh? I definitely think the Oni is cooler than all of these. I, I like this top left one. I don't know what's going on with like the ears, but um, not a huge fan of these. Mm. I do think we need another Japanese map. I love Japanese like themed stuff. I love, I think Japanese culture is really cool. Like my name Kaito is supposed to be relatively Japanese sounding. I, I, it's just so cool. We need a map like this. We need a Japanese map that takes place in like a Japanese marketplace. That would be so cool. What we have now is just kind of house and then we have shrine and that's about it, right? I don't feel like they've fully unlocked the potential, so to speak, of the, the kind of Japanese theme. But I would obviously like to see other areas explored around the world before we get more areas of the same place. I'm going to give this a six out of 10. Uh, not a huge fan of the killers. I can kind of see some inspiration that could come from it, but not particularly that cool, especially compared to the Oni. Mexico. Okay. It's, it's all right. Again, I like this skull vibe that they have going on here. This kind of looks like that other mask that we looked at earlier. I think it's just a little too simple. 
simple for my liking. I can definitely see either this bottom left one being like a, a creepy stalker killer or this bottom right one being like a, oh, it almost looks mechanized in a sense, but being like some sort of demon character just based off the like fiery eyes. I really like these. I, li I like these two a lot. This one is creepy. I like the, the just the, the, the giant black soulless eyes that just have nothing in them is terrifying in my opinion. So something like that, we don't have anything like that. And we need more stealth based, just scary killers, like scary. I mean, like genuinely terrifying killers. They've kind of moved away with that recently with like Trickster and the Skull Merchant and stuff. But I think we need some more killers that you look at and you kind of get nightmares from. I'm going to give this an eight out of 10. I like these two a lot. Moving on to Mongolia. Ooh, these are cool as like regular human killers. But again, we need kind of more creative stuff than that. This one, however, that is creepy. Like just some guy that just like comes out of the ground or like comes out of water and just like slowly rises up. I, I like this mask too. Just like the creepy husks in a sense. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what kind of power they could come up with that. Because like he definitely looks like something that would come out of water, right? Because he's doing that in here. Or he'd just be someone that's just standing there like looking at you. I like that. I think that is so fire. Definitely want to see this in DVD. I would give this probably, I, I'd give this an 8.5 out of 10. I like it a lot. All right, Morocco. It's a little basic. That's obviously AI just being basic. This one, however, I do like. Again, it's that human with a mask thing that's kind of meh. I do like this white and blue color palette though, and the, the patterns on the mask are very cool. I don't know how well this would fit into Dead by Daylight specifically, unless it's like some sort of assassin character, some sort of assassin or mercenary or what's the word I'm looking for? Bounty hunter, like a bounty hunter killer. We haven't really had one of those. So it's it's pretty decent. I, I like the look of it a lot, but it's a little too simple for me. I'm going to give this one a six and a half out of 10. Russia. Not a fan. Not a fan. It's it's just kind of the it's just kind of the human thing. But like there's nothing, there's not really any cool aspects about it. I don't have much to say. To, I don't I don't have much to say about this one. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. I do I do not like this one much. Yeah. Not a huge fan. Sorry, Russia. Ooh, this looks pretty cool, I must say. I love their color scheme with the, the white and the green and this mask with like the, the kind of oval eyes instead of the basic circle eyes that we normally see. I like that a lot. This bottom right one, especially. These like these are cool. Don't get me wrong, but this bottom right one just looks like it looks so badass. I couldn't necessarily see it fitting into DBD unless they made it look a little either bloody or creepier in a way. But I can I can definitely see some inspiration coming from this. These are some cool looking outfits. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I'm docking points because I can't see it fitting into DBD, but I love the colors and I love just the shape of the mask. Moving on to Singapore. Interesting. They really went for kind of a futuristic theme, which makes Makes sense given Singapore. This bottom left one is probably my favorite. It looks very sci-fi alien. I don't think we've explored sci-fi horror enough in DBD, so I would definitely want to see something like this. I can 100% see this coming to Dead by Daylight, and even in a map. In a map that's like an abandoned city too, that would be really cool. Honestly, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I really, really enjoy the aesthetic of all these. I know I haven't talked much about these, but there's not a lot to work with on these besides the city aspect. But yeah, this one aesthetically looks super awesome in my opinion. All right, Spain. Not a huge fan. Again, it's just kind of that skull head with the human body, which obviously makes sense given it's Spain. I mean, we could probably see a really well-designed skull-based killer. That's not the skull merchant because she doesn't really relate to skulls. This is what the skull merchant should have been. I'm just saying. This would have been way cooler. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. This one's probably my favorite. This middle woman looks awesome and terrifying, but overall, not the biggest fan. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 just because of her. I think she looks cool. Sweden. Mm, it gives me very Viking vibes and we haven't really seen anything Viking related. This looks a little too similar to the knight in my opinion, but I would like to see some kind of Scandinavian styled killers. Not a huge fan of the ones that are given here, but I could actually, this one's kind of cool. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look like much, but having this head on like an alien body would look pretty sick. Overall though, I'm going to give this one a five out of 10. There's, there's just not a lot that yells DBD killer to me. Thailand. Ooh, this is awesome. I think this, this bottom right one is pretty fire. I, I do like this creepy look that it has going, but again, it's just the, the human. I want more than just humans, you know? I mean, this looks more alien kind of, um, it kind of looks like a mix between like aliens and some sort of other fantasy creature. So it's intimidating. It's scary. I like the kind of dull colors of it. This one, I do like the colors of it, but another like skeleton head, not a huge fan. I'll give this one a six and a half out of 10. I think, I think this one's cool. A little too basic for my liking. I do like where it was going.
building. Also, this building is fire. It, it's so cool. All right, moving on to the UK. Huh, not a huge fan. I do like this upper right one, but again, it looks like the knight. I don't know why AI likes knights so much. What is going on? I wonder if it's because knight was the most recent DVD killer, probably when I when I got all these images together. So I wonder if it I wonder if it based stuff off of that. I'm not sure. That's interesting to think about. Yeah, it, they're they're cool. I think the top right is the only cool one, but it would be cool to have some sort of royalty based killer. Like again, the plague. We need more like her. I'm just saying. But yeah, I I could see this just being a knight skin. So I'm gonna give this a six out of ten. It's not great. Vietnam. Okay, these are just regular people, but I do like this. This this is really interesting to me because it, it kind of reminds me of uh, that one we saw earlier that was coming out of the water. Like I could imagine this being in like a, a very swampy area, right? Like some sort of we again we need swamp swamp killers, swamp based killers with like green camouflage, you know? And I kind of like this internal glowing thing. I feel like that could have some very interesting lore and could tie into the power, honestly. Like maybe they're part of some experiment where something was injected into them to make them like insane. <laughs> kind of like Kingsman. You know that church scene I'm talking about? Overall, I love the aesthetic of this. I also really like the aesthetic of the map. I think we need more swamp maps like this. Like the swamp we have now is a little outdated and definitely needs a rework because I think we need maps that actually feel like a swamp. In my opinion, the swamps we have now just feel like dirt. I'm actually going to give this one a, I'm going to give this one a seven and a half out of 10. I think it's a little basic, but it has a very, very cool aesthetic with like a really creative thing here. I know this is probably just some lighting thing, but if that's actually an internal part of the killer itself, good idea. If you want to see what AI thinks of Dead by Daylight killers, click on this video on screen now.